Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Indie 500 Project. Today's experiment, Lone Survivor. Director's Cut, actually. It is developed by Jasper Byrne and uh, published by Superflat Games. And here's what the game has to say about itself. An updater and remastered version of the smash hit psychological survival adventure made by one man and played by hundreds of thousands. The masked protagonist must escape from a city ravaged by disease by any means necessary. Starving and exhausted, he has begun his question he has begun to question how much of what he sees is even real. How to survive is up to you. Sneak through without firing a single shot or kill everything in your path. Eat and sleep well or resort to drugs to keep going. Search for survivors and try to escape the city alone. Or try to escape the city alone. Look after your mental health or descend into madness. Lone Survivor is a usual is an unusual mix of survivor horror, stealth mechanics, adventure games, and virtual pet and psychological and psych physiological survival simulation, and a truly interactive story. The player is encouraged to roleplay and forget about the game's workings, while the story molds to match, match the player's actions. This is the game where, you cho where your choices genuinely matter. The Director's Cut edition of the game now includes a great deal of new content, new lighting, engine and other graphical and uh, audio en enhancements. The two new endings of three new side quests also in the, in the recent PlayStation release. The update is free to existing customers. A little more information that you than you actually needed. But yeah, this is gonna be a lone survivor. I, like I said in the last episode, I really do not enjoy horror games. I do not like the anxiety it gives me and I do not like jump scares or anything of, of the kind. So I'm probably not gonna enjoy this. But we are recording this as part of our live broadcasting in junction with the Halloween and all that's Hallows Eve and all the other holidays around that time and genre categorization categorization. Well yeah, let's see what this game has to offer, shall we? We wanna play a new game, please. Before you start. The ritual is strongly advised. What is the ritual? Firstly, for maximum immersion, ensure you are in a dark environment. We are, with no interruptions. Well, we can't guarantee that. Secondly, audio is an important part of the experience. So be sure to use headphones or speakers turn up loud. Well, we got headphones. Finally, see what you need to see. Be yourself and enjoy the adventure. We can select the gamma just a little bit. Let's go back down. We want a dark experience, don't we? Please pick the phrase which best describes you as a player. Note that this setting cannot be changed once chosen. I'm new to this and I'm scared. I know my way around. Hem. I do not like horrors, horror games, and I am a bit scared, but let's say I know my way around. Expert mode selected. Very good. My name is. Not important anymore, I guess. Used to know how long I'd been here. No, I've got no idea. Been a while since the outbreak started. Not much I know. Hold up with those sound of those things outside. Monsters, I guess you'd call them. As far as I know, I'm the only one left. Lone survivor. Can't go on much longer though. Almost uh, out of supplies. And if there's anyone else alive out there, I need to find them. If nothing else, 
I don't want to die alone. Hmm. Oops. Sorry, I misclicked a little. There we go. That didn't destroy the immersion at all, did it? So here we are. Can select still select gamma. Now I can walk. I don't want to sit down right now. Looks like a double espresso. Let's not drink the coffee right now. Hey! Well, I guess the box is there to block out sound. So where do we go? Hello? I guess the box is there to block out sound. Yeah, still. It's just an armchair. Let's... Yeah, let's do the double espresso. I'll drink the coffee. Lovely. I knew I shouldn't have drunk the coffee. I think I can hear something down there. Down where? I do not like that sound. Whoa! No! Nope! 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 Not a fan! It's one of those things. I don't think it can see me. Wait, it looked like there's a hiding spot just behind it. Let's see if I can sneak past. There we go. This looks like he's grinning very evilly, <laughs> like devil devilishly. Yeah, made it past that guy. I might as well go through. And what's your deal? Hello? Hello? Are you okay? What's that you're holding? Um... I got some kind of pocket flashlight. That's good. Let's try switching it on. Pounding headache. Damn, night terrors. No better than the days. Well, good morning, flashlight, old friend. It's time to face the outside world. Let's see if I can get anything. We, the survivors, praying for. 203. Wonder if I should head for a two or three first. Maybe there's someone alive in there. Maybe can I turn off the flashlight? Forget about it. No, no, no. <laughs> I did not mean to sleep right now. Well, at least I haven't gotten into any kind of adventure yet. So maybe I. Yeah, no, that didn't do much. No. It's just a game save. There's something written during faint shock. Okay, let's see. Let's see, here we go. X, Z, walk, open inventory, weapon mode. Interact, shoot. Save a game on your bed, flashlight toggle, 
quick weapon reload. Map. Gamma aspect expert. Ignite flare. Place rotting meat. Drink health tonic. I think we have all we need. Our inventory. We only have a flashlight. Look at turn on or battery. Yeah, it's at 100%, so don't need it right now. Interact with the door. Let's get some shoes going. I don't know who's it. Who's it's. Who's it is. Battery. Battery for the flashlight. Battery good. Let's. I don't like mirrors. It's actually showing a reflection. That's kind of cool. Locked. Key to open it. Key to 206. So that's where I left it. With my mask on. It's making me dizzy. Not a chance. Stove. Don't remember it happening. But it's run out of gas. So I've got a cat plush on there. Might as well take it. I still don't remember happening, but it ran out of gas. I'll have to find some more. Need a key to open it. So where are all the keys? You get it? Ah, I don't need a key to open it. Yeah, 203. We want to go to 203, but to go to... To get to 203, we're going to need that key. Green medicine. That should be good. Um, where do we find a key? Yeah. Stare deeply into the mirror. I don't see anything special. Wait. It feels like it's trying to draw me to some other place, but I don't know where it wants where it wants that to be. I'm thinking we're gonna switch dimensions or something. Don't forget what I'm doing. So it's basically a tutorial level. Get stuff, sleep, save. I needed that. Yes, you did. Game saved. Now we should be able to go this way. Map of Wing Court 2F. Great. I don't like the sound though. Let's take a look. I'm there. That's my apartment. And that's 203. Open, open, and not sure. Locked and blocked. Sheep. That was Chi's place, wasn't it? Why would anyone mark it on there? I'll try and make my way there. Oh yeah, that letter was pinned to the map. Might as well read the letter then. Don't set off without a map, even if you know your way around. Things keep changing, you see? By the way, I think I have a way to get him past those things. It worked out they're attracted to the stench of decay. When I'm having trouble getting past them, I leave some rotten meat down to one side of a hiding spot. Then I can hide as they come towards me. It's best to avoid them though. It's no signature. Although I do believe 
I have some rotting stuff in my refrigerator. Take what's inside. Rotting meat. Six pieces of meat for now. So I should be able to get past six creatures. Can I hide here? Yes, I can. So I'll just play some running meat. Then I'll hide in the background and that thing will go for the meat. Whoop! No bueno. Ah, that is no bueno at all. How am I supposed to do this? Can I place the meat and he'll run past me? And I can pass him? Ugh. Damn it, where am I? Oh, right, that's... No, skip. Uh... I don't need to look at map. Yes, you do. It's too dark. This may actually be that short hallway on the sides. Oh, this is just... Enter the hole. Yeah, this is uh, really unnerving, actually. Do not like this at all. And how far can we actually go? Oh, something. What? Ah! Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Damn it, damn it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go, let's go. Uh, I am losing sanity and I am losing strength and everything. Go, you fool. I am... Oh, that's a cutscene, actually. Ah. I'm through. I thought I was never going to end. Hey, there's another mirror. It's just like the one in my apartment. You're close to collapsing. Can't quite see it. Dried squid on a stick. Is that food? Prawn crackers. I'll take that as food. Okay, I do not like this at all. Do we have a number here? Nope, nope, nope. Uh, let's hope the mirrors are uh, teleportation. Yes, it is. Ah, oh, thank God. It's good to be home. Yes, it is. Because we're not enjoying this. Let's sleep now and have a s save game. And perhaps we'll s actually regain some sanity. Hopefully. Didn't do much good. No, apparently not. It's time to eat. Green pills, rotting meat, battery. Let's need some squid on a stick. Did fill me up though. Yeah. Not bad considering. 
And we're teleported to the other side. Very good. Let's see if we can't get past this. Damn, I'm going to have to creep past this one. Can just get behind it, that is. Oh. This is no good. And the sound, the sound. Well, at least it can uh, calm down. Two or four. Walk the other way. Walk the other way, I say. Locked. Maybe I should try later. Ugh. Oh no, this is the short hallway. Do we have a map? Who needs maps? I do! Let me know where the F I am. They're destroyed. There's no way I'm getting down there. Other side of the building. Can see stuff. Sounds like a party. It is a party. What the F are you people doing? Um, hi. Did you bring her doll? Uh, what? Um, there's monster out there. I do believe you are delusional. There are monsters out there. Hmm. Time like this. Lovely party, isn't it? What's wrong with you? I'm having one hell of a time. There's something the matter with you. It's obvious. I don't know how to... Would you like another drink? You should try the juice. It's out of this world. I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna be those shamblers later on. F both of you. And I do not know anything about a doll. Now I do. A weird old doll. I don't need anything from their bathroom. It's got a woman's touch. It's not... Mothballs. Well, at least I got a doll you were talking about. Why not? You know why not. Doll, give. We need to find the right person. This is the right person. She was asking about the doll. Dusty purple thing gives me the creeps. Here you go then. Thanks for that. I know it must have been hard for you. I don't know what you're talking about. You don't, huh? Well, I have what you asked for. Meet me outside when you're ready for it. I don't know what you're saying, but hey, why not? Outside. Outside by the monsters? Where is outside? Do you mean this? Out I better not go back. At least until I've hung up for a while. I mean, what? There's no one alive here. But there's music playing. Hmm. Uh, hi. Hi. We'll talk outside when you're ready. 
How do I know when I'm ready? Sheep over here, the host of the best part is. Shame. Benzito. The guy's name is Benzito. Hmm. There's nothing to worry about in here, Gene. Nothing whatsoever. Nothing to worry about. Huh. Hmm. Snap out of it, please. I'm having <laughs> No, I do not really know what you mean. The only guests you're gonna get are gonna eat you. Oh, this outside. J, G, it's okay, just take it. The hell are you talking about? Oh, a gun. Give me a gun. Guess. Whoop. Let's. Um, how did I fire? Yeah. Figures. Take him down. And how many bullets do you take? I think I'm delusional. It's full to the brim. Ammo, 10. Flashlight at 69%. Don't really want to think too deeply about it. I need to find a way out of these apartments. If I can make it to the other fire exit. It's over there. It's still a fair way into the stairs. I guess I just have to look around this area, see what I can find. You're gonna find shamblers. And the shamblers are gonna be nasty. Sleep first. Of course. Beef jerky. Wasn't this place all fixed up just a second ago? Hmm. Is there a mirror? Yes, there is. Two or six bedroom key. Right. Probably get back via the mirror. Yes, I should be able to go back via the mirror. And now I have... I'm losing it. Yeah, let's 
sleep up for now. As you may see, this is disturbing enough. Really not enjoying it. It makes me uneasy and uh, I do not like the feeling. So hungry. What do we have? Beef jerky. This would survive several apocalypses. Let's eat some jerky. It's not my favorite, but it works. Well, that's beef jerky. Salty, but solid. Yep. We can always eat the rotting meat, or we could try and not do that. Yeah. I think we're going to call it quits for that for this episode. Those of you watching the live stream, you can continue watching and we'll continue playing for a bit after we've said goodbye for this time. But that has been a lone survivor. So until next time, happy gaming. Eat and sleep well or resort to drugs to keep going. Search for survivors and try to escape the city alone. Or try to escape the city alone. Look after your mental health or descend into madness. Lone Survivor is, usual, is an unusual mix of survivor horror, stealth mechanics, adventure games, and virtual pet and psychological and psych physiological survival simulation. And a truly interactive story. The player is encouraged to roleplay and forget about the game's workings, while the story molds to match, match the player's actions. This is the game where, you ch where your choices genuinely matter. The Director's Cut edition of the game now includes a great deal of new content, new lighting, engine, and other graphical and uh, audio enhancements. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Indie 500 Project. Today's experiment, Lone Survivor. Director's Cut, actually. It is developed by Jasper Byrne and uh, published by Superflat Games. And here's what the game has to say about itself. An updater and remastered version of the smash hit psychological survival adventure made by one man and played by hundreds of thousands. The masked protagonist must escape from a city ravaged by disease by any means necessary. Starving and exhausted, he has begun his question he has begun to question how much of what he sees is even real. How to survive is up to you. Sneak through without firing a single shot or kill everything in your path. The two new endings of three new side quests also in the, in the recent PlayStation release. The update is free to existing customers. A little more information that you than you actually needed. But yeah, this is gonna be a lone survivor. I, like I said in the last episode, I really do not enjoy horror games. I do not like the anxiety it gives me and I do not like jump scares or anything of, of the kind. So I'm probably not gonna enjoy this, but we are recording this as part of our live broadcasting in junction with the Halloween and all that Hallows Eve and all the other holidays around that time and genre categorization categorization you can select the gamma just a little bit let's go back down we want a dark experience don't we please pick the phrase which best describes you as a player note that this setting cannot be changed once chosen I'm new to this and I'm scared. I know my way around. Hem. I do not like horrors, horror games, and I am a bit scared, but let's say I know my way around. Expert mode selected. Very good. Well, yeah, let's see what this game has to offer, shall we? We want to play a new game, please. Before you start, the ritual is strongly advised. What is the ritual? 
Firstly, for maximum immersion, ensure you are in dark environment. We are, with no interruptions. Well, we can't guarantee that. Secondly, audio is an important part of the experience. So be sure to use headphones or speakers turn up loud. Well, we got headphones. Finally, see what you need to see. Be yourself and enjoy the adventure.